Not only can ProPresenter control your video and images, it can also control your audio. To open the audio bin, we'll click on the item in our toolbar. If you don't have one in your toolbar, you'll find it under the View menu. Now at the top of the audio bin, you'll see all our playback controls. Beneath there, you'll see any playlists you have, and then below there are all the different items in your playlist. So let's add some songs and audio clips to our playlist. So we'll click Add, and we'll just grab a few different songs here, and maybe a couple different audio clips, and hit Open. So you'll see it's imported our different items. Our top ones are set as songs, so they have a music note icon. And then down here, you'll see that we have some sound effects, and these have a different icon. Now these have been automatically recognized as sound effects because of the length of the file. Now we can change the type by right clicking and we can say set as audio track, or if we right click on this other one, we can set as sound effect. Now the difference between these two types is that multiple sound effects can be triggered and they'll play simultaneously, whereas an audio track only one file can play at a time. Now if we wanted to create another playlist, let's say just for our songs, we can go here and we can create a new playlist and we can uh, click on this playlist and name it Walk In. Now we can go back to our default playlist, we can grab a couple different songs here and we can drop them in our Walk In playlist. Now you'll see up here we have a track that's playing back right now. We have control over this. We actually have a level meter so we can see how loud it is while it's playing. And if you wanted to clear this out, you can either hit the clear all button or we could customize our toolbar and we could add a clear audio button to our toolbar. So we can add this clear audio button which will just clear out our audio. Now let's go back to this walk-in playlist. You'll see we have just our songs in here. And we can set these songs to have different playback types. So we can right click on this and we can say playback behavior of either loop, next, or stop. Currently they're all set to stop. Now if we wanted this playlist to shuffle, all we would need to do is hit the shuffle button and we also have an option here of what the transition speed is so we can set how long this fade transition between songs is. So when we click on a new song, there's a longer transition. <laughs>